Hello, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to add a sky map to your game scene in Play Canvas. And a sky map is basically something that allows you to um, have um, sort of like a background and a sky in your world. So you might have um, some ground that your character can run around on, um, but at the moment you might just have a grey sort of background surrounding your environment like in this scene. So you might want to add a sky with some clouds and maybe some buildings in the background in the distance or something like that. Um, so what you can do in Play Canvas is you can add a sky box which is um, made from something called a cube map. Now what you'll need to do before you can start this is you'll have to find access to some cube maps. So I'm going to put some links in this video of where you can get them from on the Play Canvas website um, with their tutorials there is a cube box that you can um, sorry a cube map that you can download also on this website here um, there are also some that you can download as well and these are free to use um, and free to share as well so firstly um, what you can do is down download a cube map that you want um, so I've already downloaded this one here, Yokohama one. Okay, so I downloaded this file, this zip file, and then I um, extracted that zip file to a folder. Okay, so this is the folder that I've got all of the images in from that cube map. All right, so all I need to do is drag those images into my assets panel here, or alternatively, I could just click on add asset, and then um, I could upload from there. But I'm going to create a cube map that will use these images. So I just need to wait for it to upload. Um, it shouldn't take more than a couple of minutes, depending on how fast the internet connection is. Um, but there's heaps of different um, images that you can find for cube maps on the internet. Um, and uh, basically, um, you can get some pretty simple ones like this. So different environments, it includes the sky and the um, so background around it, the horizon. And um, once you've got those images, then you can put together the cube map and um, add it to a skybox. Okay, so this is one more uploading now. Here we go. So here are all the images. One more coming, I think. There we go. So here are all the images that are going to make up the um, cube map. All right, so what I need to do is click on Add Asset and then Cube Map. All right, so I've got a new cube map. And you can see here, if we scroll down in the Inspector panel, that we've got top, left, front, right, back, and bottom. So the images for the cube map that you've downloaded and then uploaded to your Assets folder, they should have names that kind of give away what they are. Maybe they'll already be called top, front, left, right, back, and bottom. Or you might have something like negative x, um, negative y, negative z, um, pos x, positive x, positive y, positive z, something like that. So um, positive z is the front. So I'm going to drag that onto the front. Okay. And you might have to keep dragging them on into their right position. And um, when you look at it from here, you can tell whether it looks right or whether it looks wrong. So if it looks wrong, you just um, delete them and swap them around. But uh, Play Canvas has kind of actually just figured out what to do from the names of the files there. So once I dragged one on, and it, it kind of figured out where everything else was meant to go. Okay, so this looks right. I've got the front, left, right, back, top, and bottom. What I need to do next is click on Pre-Filter. All right, so it's going to put everything together. Um, and so now I'll have a cube map. It's just processing that in the background. But now I have a cube map that I can use. So to actually add this cube map to the scene, the cube map needs to be put onto the skybox. All right. And to do that, you need to go to settings. And um, if you click on the rendering um, option there, you'll see skybox and it will say empty. And what you can do is pick the cube map that you want to use for the skybox. All right, you can just you can drag it on there, or you can click on empty and then pick the one that you want to use. All right, so there we go. We have a skybox using the um, cube map 
that we put together from the images that we downloaded and then um, uploaded to the assets folder. All right, so that's pretty cool. All right, so now you've got um, a bit of a world there. Now, you can't actually walk around this scene because the images are just 2D. It's not a, the um, sky map isn't actually kind of a 3D environment that you can interact with. So you can't, for example, walk up these steps. What you could do is you could get a um, sky map that's just land and then just all surrounding sky, maybe some hills in the distance, something like that. And then you can set up your world so it's just one big flat panel or you can have your ground here so that you don't see the bottom of the sky map and then you can um, interact with it, um, interact with your world and just have the, the sky sort of staying in the same position in the background. All right, so um, that's how to add a skybox to your um, Play Canvas game using a cube map. I'll put links to um, different places where you can download cube maps from in the video here. And that's all for this tutorial. Thanks for watching.